Hey there! Today we're going to be talking about this pen, the Asvine, and this is made in China's Chinese pen. Uh, it was sent to me by the company that makes them, uh, and I think there are some really nice things going uh, for this pen. Um, I think it's very cute. I think it has a cool filling system. It has a nice metal overlay. These are all things that I think are a lot of fun. So I'll cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at the Asvine. But before we do that, I wanted to say one thing. I haven't shown you the pen yet, but before I do that, this pen has an overlay which has uh, holes in it. And all my friends who have triple phobia, which for the record is a real thing, maybe this is a review you want to skip. If you have triple phobia, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I just want to give you an opportunity, maybe don't watch this one. Okay? Okay, let's look first at the box. This is the box for the Asvine uh, Write and Record Your Good Life Model V169 Nib F Vacuum Fountain Pen. Cardboard outer box and then a pretty nice plastic container which I thought was quite nice. Uh, that's a nice thing to store a pen in or something. Here we have uh, the little instruction manual uh, which is well written shows you how to use it. The fun thing is... Um, no, that's it. I don't have anything else. Um, this is the vacuum filling, etc. There we go. I was looking at the wrong side. Okay. It came in a little pen condom, and then there is the actual pen. Okay, now I'm going to show you the pen. So I, I, this is the final warning. I'm now going to show you something that has holes in it. Okay? There we have the pen with its overlay. Let's have a look at this pen in relationship to another pen of more or less known size. Here we have the Pilot Metropolitan, uh, which, as you can see, the Asvine is not a small pen. It's a, it's a decently sized pen. It is a vacuum filler, which is very cool. It has clearly this nice overlay. I'll come back to that in likes and dislikes. It currently, as far as I could see, retails for $35.99 on Amazon. It's acrylic and brass. It currently has extra fine or fine nibs as options, and you can get them in different colors. This is the blue. I think you can sort of see that. The, the cap and, and then the barrel are blue translucent, which is quite nice. Okay, top of the pen, uh, we just have the shiny bit. Then we have the clip. The clip can wobble a little bit. I'll get to that in likes and dislikes, but it's, I think it's, it's pretty good. Uh, and it's a nice springiness. It doesn't bend out of shape easily, which I really liked. It has Asvine on it here. It is an interesting name, I agree. Um, and then we have the, the barrel and the, the turning knob. So being a vacuum-filled pen, you can open this up. I'm not going to do that right now because there's ink in it. Pull this out, put in a bottle of ink, push that piston back in. It'll create a vacuum, it'll suck up ink. And if you do that well, you can actually fill up the entire barrel. I have a video on how to fill up vacuum fillers completely. And you have a lot of ink because the entire barrel will be filled with ink. There will be a tiny air bubble, but you can get it almost entirely full, which I think is a very nice touch um, because you just have a good ink capacity. Okay, because the barrel is translucent, you can actually see how much ink you have left, which is very nice. The cap unscrews and you see here a little ink window for a secondary ink chamber. You can open this up because at some point, because that piston is going to go, will come all the way down, at some point you've done all your writing and this secondary chamber will be empty. You can no longer write. In that case, you open up that button a bit. I always like to pull it out just a tiny bit, push it back in, and then this secondary chamber fills with ink from the main chamber. Okay, we have metal threads. I will say metal threads on the inside of what seems to be acrylic. So. I always get a little nervous because that metal could strip those threads, but I've been using this for a number of weeks. So far, so good, obviously. Um, we have a section that is hourglass shaped, and we have a steel nib 
again, fine or extra fine, which this is a fine, which does actually have the as fine. Um, it looks like it's an actual engraving, not a laser engraving, which I will say props to the company for doing that. Plastic feed, and this is the whole pen. It does not post, but given the brass, it's already quite heavy near the end. I think posting it would make it very top heavy. Okay, let's write. I'll zoom out a tiny bit. Here we have the Asvine V169 Vacuumatic. I'm assuming that's what the V stands for. It is the fine nib and the ink is SBRE Brown. And I will say this about this pen. A $36 pen, out of the box, wrote beautifully. It's smooth, but not too smooth. It does not skip. It does not hard start. I have had zero issues with this pen. And if you then take into account that I have used pens that cost 10 times, 20 times this, um, that don't write I don't know what to tell you. It's nice, it's wet, but not too wet. It's just really nicely tuned. Nice, it's just good. It's just nice and I love it. Um, springiness, as always, very careful. It's not a flex nib, but it works. I mean, it has a little bit of character to it. Again, very, very careful. So, reverse writing. It even does that, becomes a little drier, but not super scratchy as some nibs do. I would say that takes the fine to an extra fine, and that's it. I must say I am pretty happy with the way this pen performs, especially given its price. I think it's impressive. Cool filling system too. So in other words, let's talk about likes and dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like about the Asvine pen? Uh, I think it has some uh, strong points going for it. Uh, at a, a price of below $40, uh, I think it is reasonably priced, especially if you consider that it wrote very well out of the box. As always, I only have one of these. I don't know if they all write that well. This one, fine nib, wrote very well out of the box. Um, the filling system is cool. A vacuumatic filling system is cool and it's something that is often found on more expensive pens. So it is very nice that if you want to try out that system, see if it's something you like, you now have an opportunity to purchase that without spending $500, but just getting this uh, pen, which I think is quite nice. I like the overlay. The overlay is probably not for everyone. I'm not myself an enormous overlay fan, but in this case I, I think it, it, it looks quite nice. Uh, and I like that the barrel is clear so you can see the filling system and you can see how much ink you have left. That's a nice added touch. Uh, you, you have a cool filling system, then I also think it's nice if you can actually see it. Uh, so I, I, I really do like that. Uh, so affordability, I've talked about. The filling system I think is cool. It feels solid. It feels solid in hand and I know that uh, the pen was actually delayed a bit. They were going to send me one and they ended up not being happy with the, if I remember correctly, the metal used in the overlays that was too brittle. I will say, I think it is very nice when a company takes the time and, and puts in the effort to make sure that the product it ends up selling is a product they stand behind, right? So that the development that's gone into that, I do think is very cool. And I appreciate that. Uh, it feels solid, feels comfortable. It's, it's somewhat top heavy because of all the, 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 the metal there, but I don't think it's too heavy. I think it's quite balanced when you hold it in hand. Comfortable section. Um, again, nice overall. Okay. The final thing I would say that I really like is that the section unscrews. That means that if you need to lubricate the uh, mechanism a bit, you can very easily do that because you have access to it. With a more complicated filling system that's not just a cartridge converter, if you have a converter and it breaks down, you throw it out, you buy a new one for under $10 and you're good to go. But with a filling system like this, uh, it's very nice if you can do a little bit of maintenance and once in a while put a little bit of silicone grease in it, you know, a little Q-tip, put it in the barrel and you're ready to go again. 
as opposed to having to send it from send it in for maintenance do all that stuff it's nice you can do that yourself there is though a downside the downside to constructing a pen like this with a section that unscrews so i found out the hard way on this particular pen is that when i got it inked it up for the first time there was some leakage through the section and um, given that it holds a lot of ink uh, there is a lot of potential for a lot of leakage that way the uh, problem was solved fairly easily. I just um, unscrewed the section. I put some silicone grease on the threads of the section and since then everything has been absolutely fine. Not a the tiniest droplet of leakage has occurred. So in other words it's a simple step. Uh, if you like fountain pens a lot there is a reasonable chance you have some silicone grease lying around and if not most home hardware stores sell it anyway. Um, not to mention pen stores but why order it online when you can go to the, the hardware store? Anyway, um, that solved the problem entirely. So there has been absolutely no leakage and I've on purpose tested this for quite a long time. I've carried it around for a number of weeks. Um, big ink capacity, fine nib, so it lasts you a long time, but I've had no more leakage since. So maybe that is a step to take as soon as you get the pen, once, you, once you've cleaned it well, put some silicone grease on those section threads and you should be good to go. I've had no other issues with the pen. Uh, there was one person I noticed who mentioned uh, in conversation that uh, with uncapping the clip can rotate a bit and get can get caught in one of these little holes. I don't know if they all have exactly the same overlay pattern or if it's a bit random. What I will say is I have not experienced that issue but depending on how you hold it when you uncap it that could happen. That's pretty much it. I hope this was useful. I hope it's clear. A very kind thank you. Um, I'm just checking my microphone because I hit the cord here. Sorry. Um, a very kind thank you to, for, uh, to Asvine for sending me this. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope this was useful and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.